What up? What up, chat? Is it working? Is it working? Oh shit, dude. Is this already... Are these... Are these... Liam, tell me. Is this live chats? Are people just waiting? Dude, these are live chats. Oh, people have awesome. been, I've been look messaging at this. them. Dude, look oh, at this. Made them wait. People are waiting. They're waiting for the show to begin. And I've just come out on stage. I feel like a proper entertainer. Thank you, Kimberly, for the $1.49. Thank you, Anton, for the 99 euro cents. Where are you from, Anton? Euros. That, that's, that's a country close to me, wherever you're from. That's, that's going to be close to me. We still use Czech crowns. They've been trying to, to do the... Uh, oh, look, I even got the music to work. Um, they've been trying to do the, the, the Czech crown to Euro thing for ages, but it, no one really wants it. So, Ants in Germany, what up? Neighbours. Neighbours, we're in Germany. I was in Berlin a couple of weekends ago, I think I mentioned that. Bavaria! I've been to Bavaria uh, a few times. Munich's in Bavaria, right? Thank you. Oh, holy shit, that music's loud. What was that? Just the bass dropped. Let's just drop that down a little bit. What up? What is this music? Lo-fi. This is not lo-fi. I wanted something like chill. Why is this in the lo-fi set? Let's do some jazz. People always say like, they, they're they like, they're like, they like the jazz. I like the jazz. Let's go. What up? So today it's a live stream. We're doing more Bill Gates shit. Um, crazy conspiracies about him. Liam is also here. Welcome, Liam. How's it going? Hello, everyone. It's going well. I may have lost a bet to Simon, which I'll never live down. You did. Although and you were I trying to... That I win. You were trying to persuade me that you'd actually won this bet. And the answer is you didn't. And all the other people in on this bet were... Wow, thank you for the gifted D2. Appreciate it. Someone's got a membership for free if they're watching this chat. Hi, hi, Jazzy Simon. Thank you, Dave. Um, we had a bet going me and my friends and then liam hops on it because i invited him to and we had about about how long sam bank from free the ftx guy you committed extraordinary amounts of fraud which we don't need any allegedly for because he did how long he was going to get sentenced to prison for we were talking about this last week and i was like well holmes who was theranos she defrauded people of like i don't know a few billy not a big deal or maybe it's hundreds of millions whatever and she got 12 years in prison bernie Madoff, who was doing this shit for decades and was like an old ass man like sam bankman fried was like 25 years old so you know he's gonna be done whereas bernie Madoff was like a finance guy who was in it for ages this is music too loud the music's even too loud for me and what the fuck is this like this isn't jazz this isn't weird i want some dude i want some cop coffee jazz like you know the, what the f Hmm, this is good. I like this. Happy happening. Um, Sam Bang with Freed. Uh, so uh, Bernie Madoff got like 150 years or whatever. And I was like, it's got to be somewhere in between because it's way bigger than Holmes. It affects way more people, but it's also like way less competent fraud than Bernie Madoff, who was like super into, you know, he knew exactly what he was doing. And I guessed fucking 25 years, didn't I? And my mate was like 40, my other mate was like 20, and I got it on the dot. I do like jazz. Jazz is definitely one of my favorite. Mm. I like all genres of music, but but jazz is like, jazz is pretty dope. I like working to jazz, often listening to jazz while I work, or classical. And then I also like a load of other music as well, of all sorts of different genres. But I got 25 years, so my friends are buying me cigars. Or more importantly, my friend who lost the bet, because he guessed 40 years, is buying cigars. And Liam, before we were on the stream today, he was like, you know, we're just doing the mic checks and stuff. And he was like, Simon, I think I actually won. Liam, what did you guess? Was it 20 years? So I guess 20 slash 22, depending on how you split it. Right. And I don't think anyone would possibly disagree, but... I got I, I won that bet because I said 25. 25 was what it was. Thank you, Jenny, for the well, one gifted. So it depends um, how you understand your question. My question was, how much is he getting sentenced for? He got sentenced to 25 years. Boom. Mic drop. Only I'm out. Serve 20. He, he'll serve even less. It can be like 12.5 under that that specific law or whatever. So, dude, it, that's that's you you can't defend this one. Everyone knows I won. And I think I have a future as a, a sentencing judge. Can that be a thing? Can I just be a sentencing judge, Liam? Unfortunately, yes, it is. You can volunteer and be an unpaid magistrate and just get the sentence criminal. Sick. That's what I want to do. I'm is Liam loud enough? He's a little bit quiet for me. Uh, I can sort it on my end. No, I got you. I got you. Leave it as it is. I already bumped okay. you up a little bit. Welcome, certified legend. El Nombre 91. I like that name. Liam won. What the fuck are you talking about, Andrew Roderick? What the fuck are you talking about? 
you're a member, so I have to respect your opinion, but I, I, it's, it's a stretch to respect that. I won, I won, I won. I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm getting my free cigars. Uh, Liam, yes. what's up? What's, what's going on? I have a little thing today. We're doing the Bill Gates thing, but uh, we can just get right into that. Cause I know it, oh shit. Happy Easter, everybody. Easter was this last weekend. How was it? Did everyone have a good time? I took Friday off and uh, then went away. I went away with my family for the weekend. We were like, let's get out of, the, let's get out of town. The weather's going to be nice. We're going to go to this town. It's called Liberets. It's in like the north of Czech and it's got all this good shit for kids. There's like uh, a science park. There's a giant soft play. And we had a great time. The hotel I stayed in was, was different. Like we, my my wife arranged it. She was like, "Yeah, we'll book this." Like she, she was like, "This it seems to be this nice hotel there. We'll book it." Uh, and we we arrive and we go in. And it's like, oh, it's got this beautiful lobby. I'm like, "Wow, this looks." Oh, I'm getting a phone call right now. Let's let's not answer that and let's put my phone on mute. Um, wait, happy Transgender Day of Visibility for Sunday too. Okay, I mean, probably not as widely celebrated as Easter, but I'm down. I'm down. Favorite episode of D- TNG DS9. Thank you for the flag. Flag Ninja for the five dollar donation, but I'm I'm not going to go into my favorite episodes of Star Trek right now because we'll be here for an hour. Um, so this hotel was really nice, and my they have these like they had this weird thing going on where like most of the hotel was just standard rooms, but a floor of the hotel each room was designed by a different architect. So they were all like super different in style, and I'm a fan of um, this artist, uh, a French artist called Mondrian, who did the famous picture. Liam, do you know this? It's like the his probably his most famous one's Trafalgar Square, and it's just like this very modern line stuff that I just I don't know I just like it. And I've never heard of that. oh, dude, it's 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 good. It's a bit it's it's modern, but it's like it's cool modern. It's not like what the fuck is that modern? Like Jackson Pollock? I don't really understand. But this was like this is cool. Anyway, one of the architects had designed one of the rooms in this style. And my wife knows that I'm a fan of this artist, so she's like, oh fuck off. <laughs> I know. It's a delivery person. They always ring me twice, but I'm not going to go and get a delivery right now, am I? Because we're doing a stream, so I'm going to have to pick that up from the post office, and that'll make me want to kill myself. So that's going to be fun for me. The later. length you go for your viewers. Dude, I know. I, and going to the post office, you've got to get one of those tickets. You've got to wait there for ages. I'll just, like... It's just, I don't know, I'll probably just have to... One, one of my favorite tricks is, like, if I don't want to go pick it up, I'll just, let, I'll just say I'll just return it to the store, and then I just order it again and hope the delivery person makes it this time. Because <laughs> it's free, you know? I don't know, it's a little bit of a dick move, but uh, I just I just don't want to go to the post office or to the delivery pickup point, because Jesus. Um, yeah, so we arrive at this hotel, and they're like, oh, okay, so we got these two rooms. And my wife's like, is it the rooms that we booked? And they're like, you booked rooms? And she's like, yeah, yeah, we booked rooms. We wanted to stay. Like, we booked two rooms because there's four of us and the kids need a, need a room and me and my wife need a room. And she's like, well, we booked this Mondrian room. And they're like, oh, yeah, we didn't get that. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, what? And they say, they're like, oh, yeah, we can put you in a different room. And I'm like, well, do you have two rooms like next to each other? Because that's what we need because we've got kids. They didn't have any family rooms. You know, you got that weird door between the two rooms. And they're like, yeah, 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 we do. We do. I think we can arrange that. So they spend about five minutes fucking around and they eventually find these rooms. So they're next to each other, not the ones we booked. And they're like, okay, here are your cards, go upstairs. We go upstairs. And it's like, great, first room looks good. Wander into the second room, and there's just a single bed. Just, it's just, who the fuck stays in a single hotel room? Even when you're booking a hotel, and you see that, like, single option, you know, with just the one little man on booking or whatever, and it's like a single bed. And it's like, I'm an adult man. I don't sleep in a single bed, even when I'm alone. So who books that? But this has a single room. And I go in, and I'm like, well, I... Me and my wife need more than a single bed. My kids need more than a single bed. We were all standing at reception while they were doing this. And so I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I go back downstairs and I'm like, hi, yeah, I don't know if you know, but this is a, this, this was actually a single room rather than a double room. And obviously we, we need like a, a double room. Also, paid for a double room. <laughs> and they're like, oh, um, yeah, we don't have any, any, any rooms like that. And I'm like, well, you don't have any double rooms. They go, oh, we've got one but it's really not nice. And I'm like, I mean, sell it to me. <laughs> sell it to me at least. They're like, it's not nice. And I'm like, what do you mean? And they're like, oh, we just don't really like it. And I'm like, well, I don't really have a choice, do I? Because that's your only available other double room. 
And so I'm like, let me just take a look at it. So they give me the card I got, and it's fine. It's like one of these design rooms that they've all done on this floor, except this one, rather than being like Hawaii themed or Montreal themed or like whatever, it's in the theme of like a simple cottage. So it's like very basic. It's all like this. It's like this very basic, feels like it's in the countryside room in a city hotel. And like, this is fine. I'll take it. No problem. And so, so that's like, that was my, it wasn't, it wasn't the best. Oh dude. And then we go to dinner and it's like, we just sit down at the table and there's like cutlery laid out and there's only like one serviette, like one, um, serviette. And I'm like, well, that's a bit weird. And it's just like, I've never seen a more disorganized restaurant in my life. They like, didn't bring us the menu for like 10 minutes. And then they're like, oh, I'm sorry. Are you you ready to order? And it's like, you haven't brought us the menus. How are we going to order? There's no menus. God damn. And then it's like, they take ages bringing the food and my kids are shouting at me like, dad, dad, I'm hungry, dad. I'm hungry. So loud that I'm sure the waiters can hear this, but they have not yet come with the menus. (laughs) Like, God damn. I mean, it was like properly, properly faulty. Dude, it was like faulty towers. Then I'm taking a shower, right? Don't even need to check for towels because you're in a hotel. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The towels will be there in the shower. And it's like, oh, oh, I'm completely soaking wet and I can't find the towels. There are no towels. There are no towels. So I'm like, okay, great. I'll just drip off, then use my T-shirt to dry myself. I go down to reception. I'm like, hey, I don't know if you know this, but uh, my room doesn't have any towels. And they're like, oh, okay. Hold on one second, sir. And they go away for like five minutes. I'm just hovering around reception, just like, you know, half wet in my clothes. And they're like, okay, they, they come back and they're like, here are your towels. And I'm like, I mean, it's no problem. I'll carry them upstairs myself. But normally in this situation, I'd expect you to be like, we'll put your towels in your room, sir. And I don't know if I'm just being a snob, but it's like, so I'm just carrying up this pile of towels. Like I work in the hotel. I'm going up in the lift. And then I'm just in this lift, like going up to the fifth floor or whatever. And some woman comes in on the second floor and she's shouting at someone on her phone, like properly going off in in checks. I'm like, I'm not really sure what's happening, but she's very upset at something. And it's just like, she continues shouting at whoever she's on the phone with while I'm in the lift, riding up to my floor. And as I'm leaving the lift, I say, see, she's got a name badge on. And I'm like, you work in the hotel. You, you're a staff member here. And you're shouting at someone in the lift. And I'm like, what is going on in this hotel? And then we're checking out the next day and they're like, oh, so if you, uh, you know, leave us a review on booking. And I'm like, you're smoking the crack. Do you really want to ask me that? Do you not remember any of this? And I didn't say that, but they probably didn't. Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I'm sorry. That was my Easter weekend. Then I went home and I had hid chocolate eggs in the garden and my kids ran around and we found them and it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Everyone else, how was your, did you have a good time? Four ninety nine. thank you from Almighty. The North of England ain't that bad. <laughs> been in manchester for the last week and it's really nice <laughs> i don't believe you i, I don't mean, believe you is the north that's all we'll say but thank you for the 499 maybe spend that on some sort of pepper spray or something you're in manchester after all is that the stabby one liam is that the um, stabby town no that's that, nottingham nottingham was uh stabbing him or something they're, like they're, that they're all a bit stabby london's mm. very stabby my partner's yeah, in London's nottingham stabby. and they have stabbed me before, so I can confirm that. Wait, you've been stabbed? Did you just say you've been stabbed? Well, okay, I've been joke stabbed by my partner, but yes, I have been stabbed. That doesn't count, Liam. Come on now. Come no, on. No, no, a classmate has stabbed me before. Like in the middle of um when when you're like dissecting hearts. Yeah. I was making jokes, like jabbing at this dick, and they just turn around and stab me in the leg with one of the scalpels. Dude, I mean, yeah, but that's that's not really being stabbed in the way that someone in Nottingham's getting stabbed. Like I've been stabbed in the compass at least a hundred times because in the compass, in the leg. Because, like, when you're doing maths and you're making the circles with the compass or whatever, you know, you got a little spiky thing on there. You know, BAM! Slam I mean, into someone's leg, because why not? And then it bleeds. To be fair, this is a scalpel. Like, it, it's... I've still got the scar to today. It, like, proper went in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fair, but you, you probably deserved it. <laughs> I, I did. No, I did. I, I was a dick. I still am a dick. So, guys, join us. Uh, I see there's lots of members in the chat. If you're not a member yet, make sure you become a member! Because we do this on Thursdays, or is it Wednesdays, Liam? It's Wednesdays, Wednesdays isn't it? We do this on Wednesdays. Wednesdays, Wednesday, tomorrow afternoon. Liam was getting all upset at me last week because I was like, dude, I think it's Thursday. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. And then he was like, it's Wednesday. And then it was Wednesday, but I ended up not being able to do Wednesday. So we did it on Thursday instead. And it turns out I was right again. So that's good. 
Uh, but become a member. There's lots of perks. Like, you get these little badges. You get to see the, the extra Thursday stream. And... Wednesday stream. Fuck! The extra Wednesday stream. Wednesday stream, where we fuck around. We don't do any... We, we kind of do more of this with, with less structure and less forethought. Not that I put a great deal of That's forethought That's right. If you this. thought that this was already unstructured, you've not seen the Wednesday yeah, stream. Yeah, you got to go for that Wednesday stream. Oh my god, dude. I saw some... Sorry, this is completely off topic. I just got reminded of it. Uh, did you see this? I saw this insane thing on Twitter, dude, about some... Let me see if I can bring this up. Oh, fuck, I didn't organize this ahead of time. Did you guys see that insane... Th it was like influencers have gone too far. Like, they've finally gone too far. There was a woman who was in, like, fucking Dubai or something. And she was on top of this giant skyscraper. And she was being lowered down with no ropes off the side of this skyscraper. Do you know, you know, you know the influencers who do this stupid pose? Have you seen this? Have you seen that pose, yes. Liam? Like that, that one that I, I had no idea what that was about and it's cringe. Um, she was doing that off a skyscraper with no safety things. And I was like, this is fake. It's totally fake. I spent about half an hour of my morning this morning figuring out that this was actually real and she's an insane person and sh this is like what the fuck are you doing um can I, can I pull this up um what was it called girl skyscraper dubai Liam, if you can find a link to this fast oh i found it already dude this is crazy um let me just bring up the web browser share is this gonna work dude i promise we'll get into the bill gates shit in a second i'm sorry chat i know i know Weekly Watch Talk with Simon. Any predictions for Watches and Wonders next week? Hoping for an anniversary sub and GMT release. Oh, dude, I don't know. But I will be I will be following up on that. See what's, see what's new in the watch world. Watch Talk with Simon. I got it. Here we go. Look, let's just watch a quick advert for... Uh, so Tom's also your the screen is black. Oh, it's there. What's that? It's there now. Uh, what's what? What's what? I want to skip this out. Here we go. Dude, look at this shit. This is no safety, nothing. Just that's got to be fake, right? It's not fake. I spent so long looking this up this morning, just thinking that everyone had been taken for a ride. But it's like, nope. There's like legit news stuff about this. I won't play the sound because I'll definitely get claimed. Um, but look at this: a thousand foot tall building. Look how crazy this is. And this isn't even the tallest building, by the way. Look at her. She's she she's like, let this clout flow over me. But look at this, dude. She does look oh. kind of terrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you up to? It's just Good. nuts. And she is my dude. now facing legal action. Is she? And in Dubai, yes. like I don't know, man. Dubai, like, they'll they'll just throw away the key. My sister lives in Dubai. Um she works out there with her husband. Dude, I don't know. She's although she's just moved to some other city in UAE, somewhere else, which I don't remember the name of. But look at this is just, dude. And this guy's got nothing either. If she, if he if she if she falls off, she's taking him with her. Good lord. Anyway, enough of that. Um, that's that's insane. That's insane. who is holding the camera. There's some dude like uh, I saw this as well, like in one of the behind the scenes things. He's like towards. I'll just bring that back up. He is like over over oh you can't see my mouse on the screen but uh he's like he's where he's where the person is pointing the camera from he's like holding the camera out of the ledge you can you can you can see that um anyway that's that let's do some bill gates liam where were we in the bill gates thing um we got well i don't have the script so i'm not certain okay just I give me a we rough just got to a bit where there was a prosecution against bill gates in the philippines also dave is waiting for his invite link oh okay dave dave is here he wants to join us uh okay wait did i actually read the bill gates one i'll just send dave his link or i'll send you the link and you can invite dave in you read part of the bill gates one. Oh, i did okay shit the pro that's the problem uh the crazy shit steve jobs did that's a good one crouching tiger hidden something cut off two pounds thank you for the dono um yeah that's a good one steve jobs is kind of crazy he never had a license plate on his car which kind of blew my mind he's like because apparently there's something where you can like have not have a license plate on your car for like six months and uh liam i sent you the link and he'd always just get a new car every six months so he didn't have to have a license plate on it which i mean it's pretty fucking gangster to be honest incentive 
Okay. Nice one. Nice one. That's the ultimate flex. Oh, yeah, I'm just always buying new cars, so I don't need a license plate. Yeah, but also he's so rich that he doesn't really need to flex. Like he's he's beyond. He's he's post flex rich. That's where he's at. Um, okay, so I'm just. Uh, <laughs> Should we just start from the top of the Bill Gates one? Because it's uh, the, the the premeditated murders one. Oh, it's like, dude, it's the last entry. We don't actually have that much to do today. Oh, it's good I that I've wasted 23 minutes telling my stupid see, stories. See, this is why you need to get me the scripts ahead of time so I can check where we're at and get stuff set up for you. I don't know, Liam. That sounds like a bit too much access, you know. I don't want you, don't, you know, you know, you don't want to get in there. Yeah, um, I, I just can't be trusted with the scripts. Yeah, you can't be trusted. Can't be uh, trusted. Dave is in the call. What's up, Dave? Can you hear us? Let me just make sure he's on board. Can you hear us? Uh, I think I need to onboard him. Show on Hello. stream. Yep. Simon's just took yeah, yeah, he, now. He's, okay. Uh, what up? My video. I can hear you, Dave. Yeah, how's it going? How's it going, man? Good to see you. Yeah, not bad. Or oh, actually, I can't see you. I just see a a small blue orb, but no one can see you, so don't worry. You're you're off cam. You're just. You wouldn't be able to see me anyway. It, it's proper dark in here. Uh, I did. Um, a video interview the other day yeah and because i have no electricity still i had to bring in like a battery powered light system and everything it was crazy wait hold on why don't you have any, any electricity dave because previous tenants didn't pay the bill and the energy company are being dicks about getting everything reconnected again <laughs> did so, i uh, did i tell I'm you running that? my life on battery at the moment it's insane i didn't pay my electricity bill for like a year and then they eventually threatened to call the police um <laughs> it wasn't my fault though i have like a, a little country house and they're like the 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 meter for reading the electricity is inside the house and so every time would go they'd be like hi we tried to come by and, and read your electric meter but it's inside your house and i'm like well yeah because i only am ever at this house on the weekends because or holidays because i have a job and they're like, well, you need to cut, you need to, you need to be there to let us in at like three o'clock on a Wednesday. And I'm like, no, I, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not driving like an hour and a half out of town to meet you so you can read my electric meter. You need to figure something else out. And eventually they were like, you have to go, or we're going to call the police. And so eventually I sent someone there to do it on my behalf and let the person in and, and sort it out because I didn't want to have the police called on me. And then I, I ended up owing them like forty quid or something absurd. Um, Where are you? Like, it's just, it's I used to live in a, sh I used to live in like a shared house situation, mm. and um, I had a guy come round. I was the only person in, and I had a guy come round. He's knocking on the door, and I answered it, and he said, "Oh, we've come to put a key meter in." What the fuck's a key meter? I, it's for you wouldn't understand. It's for poor people. You have to like prepay in advance your electricity. Like, oh. pay as you go, electricity. Yeah. Oh, I know that. That is for poor people. I used to work in a news agency, and poor people would come in all the time with their little top up cards, and they'd be like five, yeah, yeah. Pounds, five pounds on the gas. I used to have to do that as a child. <laughs> um, I'm, just, I'm just joking. This is fine. Um, Simon's to... never been poor. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a joke, but it's also true. It's also true. <laughs> I've just been well off and then rich. Um, so that's nice for me. Um, Connected, uh, uh, relatable. Um, should we do the Bill Gates thing, Dave? You ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want me to do the Steve Jobs script? Yes! Yes, I do! Can you do it right now so we have more content to talk about on this episode? Or are we, are we talking about a longer turnaround time here? I can do it for you for next week. You'll have to uh, lift the embargo on Brain Blaze scripts briefly. Oh, shit. Okay, I can do that. We can do... Uh, the, consider the embargo lifted for live Blaze scripts because I need those, whereas I'm insanely ahead on um, on regular Brain Blaze. I, so Simon is rich, but not post-flex rich, unfortunately. I'm working on it. I'm working on but, becoming post-flex rich. <laughs> but apparently That's... not rich enough to send his employees on a well-earned holiday. You're to not going in. to North Korea. Stop bringing it up. It's a death sentence. I just made Simon. a video about the propaganda dude. Simon, send him to North Korea, but only one way. Yeah, dude. Then we won't have to deal with him anymore. <laughs> 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 Don't make me mute you, Liam. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna tell. Uh, there's oh another bill that uh, not not that I didn't play pay. I just moved into a house like six months ago, and the house had been empty for six years before we moved in, and the mailbox was absolutely fucking stuffed, and it was a big mailbox, stuffed 
full of letters from O2, which is a telecoms provider, all to the same person. And obviously you can't open someone else's mail. But I'm like, someone hasn't been paying their bills for six years. And it was, it was, I don't know, the name on it was like definitely some foreign dude. I can't remember what it was, but it, it, it felt like Spanish or something. And I'm like, this dude has left. <laughs> this dude has left the country. He's not coming back and he's not paying that bill later. You need to give up. You really need to give up on that one. Um, Cause you're spending a lot of money on mail. Uh, Bill Gates, we'll finally get there. We'll finally get there. So we were talking last week about cr- crazy conspiracy theories surrounding old Billy boy. And um, any plans for a deeper dive on the Russia attack? Thank you for the two months, Daniel Tan. Uh, yes, yes, in the works. We're kind of waiting because we covered it on Citrus. This is obviously for War of Graphics, a completely different channel, but I'll address it. Um, we dealt with it in the, the news show, the Situation Room. Um, we're waiting for kind of things to settle before we do like a longer feature length deep dive into it because I feel that's more valuable than just trying to beat everyone to the punch. It's better to, I mean, in a way, Situation Room is that's what that's for, like the quick news one but then what we do is we'll do a deeper dive once all the information has come in and everything's just settled down a little bit we uh, need to get that chinese hacking video out dude that went out didn't it go out yesterday it did. uh yeah. oh, did it okay i think it went out yesterday uh sorry for the little delay easter everyone's taking a little time off everyone's just being a little bit relaxed can we just call windows of easter a war crime yeah not as much as a war crime as windows millennium edition though am i right um, so, a warrant was issued for Bill Gates' arrest in the Philippines for thousands of premeditated murders. Now I've tried to stay away from Bill Gates' related COVID conspiracies purely on the grounds that probably nobody, probably everyone knows them all already. This one, however, was just too good to leave out. According to an article published on the 2nd of March 2023 by News Punch, presumably named to divert unsuspecting readers away from News Thump, Never heard of News Thump either. A Philippines court has issued an international arrest warrant for Bill Gates as part of an investigation into the COVID-19 vaccination rollout in the territory. The article goes on to say excess deaths have spiked in the aftermath of the vaccine drive in the Philippines, with hundreds of thousands of citizens dying unnecessarily and many more injured and maimed, according to prosecutors. I mean, even if this was true, which it isn't, what does Bill Gates have to do with this? Is he paying for people to get vaccines in the Philippines? I don't think so. Thank you, Austin, for the five dollars. Uh, name a better duo than Simon on his Picador tangent. What the fuck was my Picador tangent? Shit, that was a long time ago. Was that about how nuts the Picadors are? Like, a, a Spanish friend of mine was telling me about that back in the day. Like, it's like, bullfighting's way more violent than you thought. And since I read that, um, Death in the Afternoon book about the bullfighting, it's like, it's intense, dude. I kind of want to go see it. Not that I don't think I'd like it. I just kind of want to go and see it for the experience. Uh, where are new Science or Unbound episodes? I'm so sorry, uh, Sheridan. I appreciate the $5, but I'm not doing Science Unbound anymore. The kind of content from there is going over to Astrographics. It just was not successful enough, and I killed it. Sorry, it has to happen sometimes. Uh, the judge said Gates, as the founder of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is wanted in connection with hundreds of thousands of deaths, a number which cannot be estimated at present, and is certain to increase exponentially in time. This is just not true, though. Those who wanted this to be true, and there were a lot of them, quickly began quoting the article as irrefutable proof that Bill Gates was determined to drastically lower the amount of humans on the planet and that he was sponsoring vaccines in order to do this. Apparently, Interpol has been informed of the charges leveled against the hated billionaire, but at the time of writing, had chosen to do nothing about it. Probably because it's nonsense. Um, so, why wasn't Bill immediately arrested and sent to face trial for heinous, for heinous crimes in court in the Philippines? After all, Google assures me that there's an extradition treaty between the two nations. Well, yeah, for one, it's, but it's not that simple. It's not like, oh yeah, they want Bill Gates. Even if they genuinely wanted him, the Americans are still going to be like, well, we're going to decide whether or not to send him because extradition doesn't just work. Some other country decides they want you in your country. It's like, hey, yes, go, go. Like, because this would be insane. Can you imagine Bill Gates just being flown over to the Philippines and having to deal with it? He'd be like, what the fuck's going on? I'm post-flex rich. I should not have to deal with this. Uh, you would think, would you not, that even a proper news organization were in Gates' pockets, it would have at least been reported by someone like Fox or Breitbart. Well, News Punch. What the fuck is News Punch? I gotta look this up. Is this... Dave, you, you wrote this. Is this a safe click or is News Punch just full Yeah, yeah, you could, it's, it's just like... It's just a... Um... Well, they hosted that article, so you know that's where uh, that's where they are on the um, news credibility scale. But wait, like I, I said, 
I've got I something that's called the, the People's Voice is an American fake news website based in Los Angeles. Is this like fake news like the onion or is this like fake news like sinister it's founded by you it was founded as your newswire in 2014 by sean adult tabai and his husband sinclair treadaway in november 28 it rebranded itself as news punch the weird thing is when i google this it's not on the first page of google the first thing that comes up is wikipedia and then I fact check you a link it is just a fake news website but like funny or just crazy or like intentionally misleading people go look intentionally at misleading that's fucked up Pe- oh sorry i'm not sharing this am i here we go people's voice wow dude what who designed your logo the 1980s what the fuck is this poland signs hates trump says adam schiff who the fuck is who, what? robert de niro trump is possibly crazy in a medical sense snopes well, that's Napa. probably true yeah, 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 it's probably true. Scientists prove that pop music has gotten worse over the last 50 years. I mean, maybe I like this website. Maybe yeah, I agree. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that sounds like a good take, to be honest. Biden blasts blasted for... Oh, so this, this is not like The Onion. This is like... No, no, this is legitimate fake news rather than they satirical. They are serious about the crazy stuff they are saying. Saudi Arabia tried to kill 9-11 lawsuit. That doesn't seem like a real... Saudi Arabia are bribing American veterans to help block a new federal law that allows the families of 9-11 victims to sue the Saudi regime for sponsoring. So is this just not true? Or is it based on... Oh no, there's this one of these websites with these tabula ads that you'll just scroll down and it will never... Oh, it ended. <laughs> this what the does fuck is seem this? to just be based on lies. I'm okay. reading an article now saying that Poland has made a law that um, if you insult... Uh, people who do naughty things to children i can't use the word because youtube will strike us um then you can go to jail which is not at all what the law says Wait, and they're like blaming a... lgbtq people for it oh i think there was a law they were trying to bring a law in that said that victims of 9-11 could see saudi arabia i'm sure i read that in one of michael wolf's books huh yeah that that feels real but Okay, interesting. Oh my god, times! I don't want to pay! I just wanted to read about the mother churning out stories for the masters of fake news. Oh, paywalls. I think I... Do I pay for the times? I feel like I even pay for the times, just not on this computer. Oh no, I pay for the New York Times. Sorry? You do pay for the times for me. Oh shit, I do. A few extra words on a script, so I can... uh, Uh, Okay, I knew I paid for the times. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Okay, Uh, let's go back to Bill. Billy boy! Billy boy! Thank you, $2. Hello from Minnesota without the username. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Hello back at you, Minnesota. Uh, Well, News Punch had at least an answer for the later question. Writing, the news was immediately met with a super injunction issued by the Gates Foundation, which prevents media in relevant jurisdictions reporting on the arrest, warrant, or existence of the super injunction until the case is resolved. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely convinced. Just in case, though, let's take a wedge to the story and see if it holds up. Whilst researching this story, I came across an article on factcheck.org. I'm not surprised because when you search for like um, the people's voice or news blast or whatever the fuck it was called, it doesn't come up. The first thing is just debunking sites like factcheck.org. After checking the sources that they used, the story suddenly appeared to be very shaky indeed. Firstly, the heinous crimes court no longer exists in the Philippines. According to Anna Su, a law professor at the University of Toronto who worked as a law clerk for the Philippine Supreme Court, heinous court crimes courts did exist at the time, but were abolished. But what of that? News Punch may just have given the court the wrong name. It's no more stupid than, say, accidentally referring to the walkie-talkie building in London as the Shard. Let's keep going. <laughs> ah, you did that, Dave, didn't you? Let's keep going. I searched and searched but I was unable to find any verification, verifiable evidence of hundreds of thousands of vaccine-related deaths in the Philippines, or anywhere at all for that matter. World Health Organization data does indicate that there have been approximately 4 million COVID-19-related deaths in the Philippines. God damn. Perhaps that's when News Punch got confused. That apart from a quote from an unnamed source at Interpol stating that the warrant did not exist and an email from one of Gates' spokespersons denying the story was all I could find. Really? Did Gates' spokespeople really need to d- deny the story? It's like when I read fake news about myself on Twitter or something, it's just, I, I don't engage. Just don't engage. 
You don't need to engage. This is obviously nonsense. All very circumstantial if you ask me. Personally, I'm choosing to disbelieve the story purely on the grounds that News Punch is a stupid name. And that, loyal listeners, brings us to the end of this episode. If you do happen to know Bill Gates, please do let him know. I'm still trying to get in touch. I finally have that £1,000 Amazon gift card he wanted. And I'm looking to have my 5G booster chip upgraded for better reception. Yes, you are. Um... Okay, I don't know, man. Bill Gates is like Bill Gates doesn't do some great stuff. Like I know people have issues with Bill Gates and all of this, especially like I don't know. He didn't have some like personal life stuff going on, but he's probably the greatest humanitarian of our time, isn't he? Like the amount of money he's given, isn't that? Yeah, I reckon he's got to be close. Yeah, I mean, who's giving ninety nine percent of his money, doesn't he? Yeah, but lots of people are doing that. But Bill Gates, like, stop doing the whole Microsoft thing. Literally just to, like, focus on solving problems. But I get the feeling chat's not going to like this. No one seems to like Bill Gates anymore. And I'm like, I don't know, man. He's, he's like, he's using his post-flex wealth to, to sort the world out and buy all the farms for some reason. You know, you said just then about um, fake news about you. Yes. Oh, God. What now? Uh, you know when you um, Google yourself? As I do. We did this last week on the member stream, you, you know. by the way. We went through I, I, one of I my biographies. Uh, all right. Um, no, I was, I was Googling myself the other day, as you do. Yeah. Um, and I found out that I have an IMDb page. I had Ooh. no idea. I think I've got an IMDb I didn't page. Set it up. I have yeah, one Yeah, you have, too. but you're, you're famous. I'm not famous. So. Yeah, but what have, I, what have I done that deserves to be on the internet movie database? I've made zero movies. All your shows are listed as TV shows. Really? I'm opening up right now. Yeah. Let's have a look at my let's have a look at my IMDb page. Mine also claims I worked in a Netflix a Netflix show. You did? Did you? No, I didn't. Wow. But it claims sh- I was like a set designer on a Netflix show next to Mega Projects, Brain Blaze, and the Capital Crew. You must have just like your it must just be confusing you with another Liam Bird. Oh no. My boy, top tens only boy. gets a seven. Orographic 6.6. This is very disappointing. <laughs> Brain Blaze, 8.8. <laughs> Shit. Okay, really? People Casual rate Brain Blaze? Brain Blaze above War of Graphics? Brain Blaze is just crazy, though. Wow. I've also learned it uh, credits based off the end credits of your YouTube videos. How does it every even... Every now and then, I'll wow. be credited someone else's video, or they'll be credited on a video I wrote, and it's given me someone else's Mega Projects video. Wow, okay. Okay. These are the, what, this is very strange. How do I? Who rates these? And how do I kill I them? That, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they come from. Even I, I, I don't know whether it's like an auto-generated thing or. I, I think it's on IMDb. You have to make an IMDb account to do it. Two people gave it one out of ten. Who are you? <laughs> Blim, Quick, I didn't. I didn't make IMDb and give the five star reviews. I don't know. It's always like. I, Awards. I didn't make my own page. I just went on and found it on there. It looks like we don't have any awards for this title yet. That's disappointing. Where are my awards? It's also really nice how this, this graphical work is really translated well to the uh, IMDB page format right there. That, that looks brilliant. Oh, What's often up? casual criminalists will also list the victims of the murder as cast. <laughs> Dude, so if you go to that is fucking cringe. It's Simon Whistler host. And then it lists a bunch of murdered victims and their family members. Oh, dude, no. It must be, it must be some sort of AI-generated situation. It must it's not. Be. It's people. It's not people. No one's like, oh, yeah, Simon Whistler co-starring John Wayne Gacy no, <laughs> as it, himself. It's people because we've had people on the Discord server ask for us to help them do this. To which the response is always no. Wait, help them do what? Terrible. What do you mean? Like they, they've like asked for a list of every episode the writers have written yeah. to like put it together on IMDb. Oh my and god! The answer is no because IMDb's already got so much wrong information on it. Yeah, fuck IMDb. Uh, I'm a Rotten Tomatoes dude. I saw Napoleon uh, last weekend. Have you guys seen Napoleon yet? I've not. I think it doesn't do particularly well uh, at the Rotten Tomatoes. I enjoyed the shit out of it. I thought it was excellent. 58 or 59? I don't know. I think this was... I thought this was great. I really enjoyed this. And I thought um, Joachim Phoenix, also known as Joaquin Phoenix, was great. I thought this was a really good movie. It was a good movie. Thank you, chat. 
It was really inaccurate. It's a movie! It's a movie! <laughs> if you want to learn, learn about Napoleon, watch one of my videos! This was a great film! Are you saying Napoleon was dynamite? Napoleon was dynamite. Napoleon dynamite. <laughs> dynamite. What do you think this gets on Rotten Tomatoes? I think it's going to be 90. like in the 90s. I think dead on 90. Oh, 72. Oh, 72 and 74. I thought this would be one of those movies that the only reason I've heard of it is because people really liked it for some reason. I thought it was just a bit insufferable, to be honest, but it's been a long time since I saw it. It really was a great movie. Thank you. Everyone agrees. Great. I think the, the fact that Napoleon does worse than Napoleon Dynamite. And who did, didn't... Who directed Napoleon? It was a big famous director, wasn't it? I mean, it should be. Was it Ridley Scott? I think it was Ridley Scott. Who directed that, Liam? Can you look that up? Ridley yep, Scott! I'm looking that yeah. up now. Dude, this was a fucking great movie. It was very much like a dad film. Took my dad oh. to see it. He loved it. Oh, fuck it. I'm not that much of a boomer. I am a dad, but my kids are not old enough to take me to see Napoleon. You are a boomer. Dude, did um, I tell the story about when I went to see The Pianist? No, you've not told that Dude, story. when did The Pianist come out? Can you look that up real quick? Because I was like, I think I must have been like 13 years old. And hadn't, didn't really know anything about the Second World War yet. Because 2002. You so, yeah, okay. I think I must have, yeah, so like 14 years old. Hadn't really, didn't, you know, 14 year olds, they don't know much about the Holocaust very much. So my parents were like, we're going to go see a war film. And I'm like, great, that sounds fun. So 14 year old me and my parents go along to the cinema, expecting, you know, some sort of band of brothers shit. And I see the pianist and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Surprised. Dude, I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is this? This happened? And then, of course, later on, you study the the fucking second world war, and you're like, God damn, it was a lot more than just Band of Brothers. The pianist was fucking intense. Fourteen year old Simon is like, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> God, that movie was a banger. That's got to be in the '90s, right? Didn't that win like 70 Oscars or something? It couldn't not, right? Rotten Tomatoes, pianist. What do you guys? Write? I'm looking this up. Hold on. Dude, 95%. What do you think the audience gave it? I'd say 90. 96 with the audience. It's a banger of a movie. Never Although calling it. it a banger of a movie doesn't feel like an appropriate way to describe the pianist. Hi from Southampton. Oh, thank you, Glenn. Two pounds. That's weird. I was mentioning how one of my sisters, or my one sister lives in Dubai. My other sister lives in Southampton. What do you know? There you have it. Uh, she's a teacher in Southampton, and so is uh, my brother-in-law. Isn't that nice? They just moved house, actually. They I went to school in... in Southampton. Oh, really? There you go. I've, I've been several times because yes. my sister lives there, obviously. It seems pleasant. Pleasant enough. She went to university there and ended up staying there. So that's nice. Um, Simon crying over his 14-year-old pianist. Dude, it, the pianist is fucking intense. Like, it's okay to have cried at the pianist. It's like, I mean, but, you know, 14-year-old Simon was like, I'm not crying. This is fine. Everything's great. It's fine. They threw that dude in a wheelchair out of a window. It hasn't scarred me at all. Fuck. Okay, so, dude, I, I didn't... I, I, I'm just I'm just rambling, looking shit up on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I didn't expect us to have so little to do for the... Um, for the for the actual piece shall i do something that i plan to do for the members on hi from the isle of man shit my uncle lives on the isle of man um i'm not making this up i'm just looking at places and being like oh yeah okay <laughs> someone will be like oh yeah my uh, I'm, I'm from timbuktu and i'm like oh my cousin lives in timbuktu <laughs> shit would would people like a taster or some of the exclusive members content while i've just sent simon a very cursed image in dms uh, should we do some? Should we do some of the members' content that I was planning? What's the cursing at Columbine? Oh, dude, no! Columbine mass murder at a high school. Writer Liam Bird, star Simon Whistler. Wait, but I don't want to. Is this the term starring? Well, starring I mean, Simon that's not so weird. It'd be more weird if it was like co-starring, like. Well, there's also an option to add the synopsis in the plot. <laughs> that's fucking bad. It's like. What's the plot of Columbine mass murder? I don't know, maybe it was fucking Columbine! Or sorry, it's col col Columbine, as everyone yeah, in the comments there was a is lot still of ripping in pointing the comments out. Pronouncing it. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so look. Uh, so members, one you should look up. That one. What's that? It, you should look up the pronunciation of that. That nah, sort nah. of thing. I, I, don't just look up. I don't look up it was pronounced <laughs> the way I've heard other people pronounce it. And then every American in the comments was like, Liam, you know nothing. 
Yeah. This is I... your first ever casual criminalist, and we hate you. Ah, uh, yeah. Was it your first one? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was my second, but they all said it was uh, my first. No one watched the first one. Uh, <laughs> I see you've done a poll. What's the poll saying? I can't see the results. Uh, they Do they want exclusive member stuff or rambling? Yeah, 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 but what do they want? Rambling. Someone chats Daniel Tan, 199 pounds. So do you ever got, did you ever get called semen in school? No, I didn't. I was just Whistler. I'm just calling me Whistler. Very creative. Um, or Swistle. My name was Swistle for a while because we used to have these logons. You know, when you go to a computer and they assign you a name, it was your last name followed, oh, it was your letter of your first name followed by your surname, but the surname couldn't be like more than seven letters. So my username was S Whistle, which was Swistle, and so people called me Swistle for about a year, and then it just went back to old Whistler. Liam, what's the result of the poll? Uh, well, I've asked them if they want exclusive member content. I know you. Really I know what the cool poll says. Content. I can see it. What's the result? They want rambling. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I gave them the options of exclusive members content or rambling and they voted rambling. Fuck, I have no plans for rambling. I need something to rip off. To oh my God, I have something. Speaking about like meeting fam or family members from random places. Have I told the story of that time I was in Thailand? I was on Thailand on holiday with my, with my wife at the time and no kids. This was a long ass time ago. And we were on some like fucking random ass island uh, in the middle of nowhere. Um, I can't even remember what it was. it was like. It was like Co something. Co, Co, I don't know. Someone in the chat will probably know it. And so I think Co actually just means island in Thai. So that's not very helpful. Anyway, we're on this we're on this island. We're staying in this like nice little place by the beach and all of this. And then one evening we like go out. We're there for like two weeks. We go out and we're going to like this. There's this big hall where all these people are like cooking food and you can pick up whatever food you want. And I'm like... This music level balance is fucking terrible sometimes. Like, some songs are just louder than others. And so we're going out, and we're eating. We order some food. And then I'm, I go up, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go try some more food. And then some dude just comes up to me, some random man, Western-looking dude, like Caucasian dude. And he's like, Simon? And I'm like, yeah, what up? I'm not famous. I'm not famous at this point. Like, no one knows who I am. I don't think I'd even started doing YouTube. This was, like, over 10 years ago. And he's just like, Simon? And I'm like, hello. <laughs> and I'm like, I have no idea who this is. I'm like, wow, hi, good to see you. Like doing the generic, like, oh my God, where do I know you from? And how are we on this island? Like, how, how is this happening? And I'm like, God damn, this looks like my cousin. It really looks like my cousin. But I'd know if my cousin was in Thailand because I, you know, my family knew I was going on holiday to Thailand. It's my fucking cousin. Like, it's insane coincidence. We're in the middle of nowhere in some tiny place where they're just like serving random food from like vendors. And I'm like, holy fucking shit. And he's grown like a, he's, I don't know, he was like backpacking rounds or whatever. Like he's younger than me. And he's like, he had a big beard and like big hair. And I'm like, fucking hell, Harry. What up, dude? <laughs> and that, that was one of the craziest coincidences of my life. And that's, yeah, I don't know. That, that sort of thing happens to me all name. the time. Really? T tell one of your stories, Dave. If you got one. No okay, pressure. Um, no <laughs> pressure there. <laughs> I grew up in Port. I grew up in Port. <laughs> yeah. I grew up in Portsmouth, and then I moved. When I met my wife, I moved up north for a while. Mm. And the first time I went into my local up there, yeah, there was a guy just sat at the bar, and as I walked in, he went, "Dave," and he was one of my regulars. From when I used to run the pub, I hadn't seen him for like two or three years. Yeah. Um, and I like walked, I just walked into this pub, and he, I used to see him every day. But I didn't know anyone up north, and he had moved around about the same time as me, um, to exactly the same place. Yeah. You know, I didn't know until I walked into the pub, and there he was, just like that. Um, uh, it's it's a week, coincidence. The other but... week. But dude, it's not running into your cousin on the other side of the world, my dude. No, That's... but the other day I went on a cruise, as oh. you know. Oh, I do know. The other week I went on... Yeah, yeah. Um, I was at the like all-you-can-eat buffet thing. Yeah. And a guy I've known for probably 20 years. I used to see each other fairly regularly, but you know how it is when you have kids and you don't go out drinking anymore. Like. Dude, um, I, I, I... This guy tapped me yeah. on the shoulder. And he's like, Dave? I'm like, 
turned around, like, Franklin? <laughs> now, he lives about, um, not that far from me, but, like, like I said, I hadn't spoken to him for about six months, and then we both ended up on exactly the same cruise at the same time. That's pretty good. I like that it's one. It's not quite running into your cousin, but... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I was being too harsh. It's a good story. It's a good story. I've had an awkward version of that. Go on. So um, when I was doing my master's, that's when I got a lot of the legal experience I speak about. Mm. And I worked for a charity that provided legal advice to veterans. Yeah. And in the course of this, I brought a discrimination case against someone that I won't be able to give details about. But in this discrimination case, what you need to know is discrimination cases lead to a lot of messy arguments, a lot of not dirty tactics, okay. but I try to ruin your business to get back at you um, because your business discriminated against people and I publicized that. It all got resolved amicably. They lost their company, but it was amicably for everyone else. <laughs> then about a year Everything later, worked out brilliantly, except for the company, which went They bankrupt. discriminated against disabled people, so fuck that. Oh, yeah, um, okay, fuck them. But, like, a year later, I'm working for a different law firm mm. doing a family law clinic, providing yes. things like divorces, that sort of shit. And it's a student-run clinic, and I'm there at the university, and I'm helping the students who've never had any legal experience telling them how to do it and we're like oh and the boss has got this client in he's like a best mate of her he's gonna come in and we're gonna run him through it and it's the fucker who i've had to lose his company oh and we have a solid five second stare what i have to look at the students to be like okay no details no one's allowed to ask me and him are gonna step outside one of us is gonna step back you're not gonna see the other one again Fine. Yeah, I mean, don't you just, like, immediately conflict out? Just be like, I can't. It's really complicated when it's a completely different thing that we're working on. The issue is that I am allowed to work for him. He's allowed to get me to work for him. We don't want to Yeah, work dude, I'll be like, no, like, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. And now he's like, and now I'm getting divorced because my wife was only in it for the money. And you bankrupted my company. And now I've got nothing left. And that's how Liam actually got stabbed. <laughs> Jesus. No, there's a couple of times I thought I was going to get stabbed by a client. Luckily, I. you always sit, you always get a desk just wide enough that they have to really struggle to get over it. Dude, I remember when I was studying law and I went to, you know, sit in the courts and see, this was one of the most, oh, it's embarrassing. It was like, ah, there was like, ah, I almost don't want to tell this story because it's, Okay, it. fuck it. So I'm going there. It's the like Court of Appeals, right? So there's these three judges. And they're like these old-ass judges. Liam knows what I'm talking about. They're in, their, they're, they're in their robes. They've got their headgear on. They're looking like fucking old as fuck. Like, it looks cool. It does look cool. But so this guy comes in. And they put him in the little box thing. And he's behind all the bars and stuff. And they're like, okay. And then someone is like, and this is Mr. So-and-so defendant. He's appealing his decision on this case. And the judges... This dude had done some fucking horrible, demonetizable shit to children. Like, the nast. It was fucking weird. And he'd obviously given his testimony at, at some point, and he just came across as like a. He was, and looked, and felt, and sounded like. You just see him in the box, and he's like, that guy's a P word. You just look at him, and you know it. And the judges have to read out. Like the guy from Family Guy. Dude, bang on. It's like. Except young. <laughs> and it's like the judges have to read out this stuff that had been going on. And it's like fully disgusting. And it's just like, and they're reading it. But it's like the things that he said, like in messages online. And so you've got this like old ass judge reading out these like fucking like horrifically sexually explicit, explicit things. And I'm just like, you know when something, you know like when you're in church and you can't stop laughing. And I'm just in that, in that, in that box, like looking at this stuff. And I'm just like, because it's so uncomfortable. I'm like, why am I laughing? I don't know. <laughs> and so I just have to excuse myself. No one, I don't think anyone noticed, but the box like had other law students in it. And apparently I'm the only one who is so fucking immature that I can't keep my shit together. And yeah, that was really, 
Like, no, it's was, dude. That I've was really had horrific. that before. So can, I've seen people discuss that laughter is a panic response, and I never truly understood that. Dude, I, it's not funny. I'm not like laughing at these horrible things that this dude did. It must be a panic thing because I'm like, ah. Yeah, laughter is a panic. But no, I've seen similar stuff. When I went to my first ever court, I was yeah. on a school trip back at A-level, and um, it was a murder case. I think it was manslaughter at this point. But this one student in front of me like showed the person next to him something on the phone, and the guy broke out into laughter right when they're getting the mother of the fucking uh. victim. Uh. The judge went ballistic, Bruh. banned anyone in the public gallery from leaving, and ordered the police officers to find out who did it, who laughed, and then bring uh. them to his chamber. Oh, dude, what happens? Do you know what happens in the end? Yeah. Oh no, what happens? Liam, tell me what happened! Liam! Don't die on us now! Liam! <laughs> Your audio's not working! God damn it, Liam! Use sign language to tell me what happened. I can still see you. Tell Simon to read. Oh, you're back! Me, you're back, you're back, you're back. What okay, so, so basically, the police officers come up to the public gallery. Yeah. They just look around like, listen, I'm not going to go through your phones. I'm not going to strip search you. Who did it? And the students both pointed at this random guy. Oh. <gasps> and they what believed the them. But the thing is, this was the same guy who earlier on, one of the other witnesses was like, oh, no, I never said it was him who stabbed him. It was this other guy. And what do you mean you didn't say it was him? He was like, no, it's not the defendant. It's this, and then insert the guy's name. And the judge looked at the public guy. He's like, if you're there, this person, do not leave the court today. So this guy has been dobbed in by a random witness for having part in a manslaughter. And the judge thinks they were spreading jokes and laughing about it in the public gallery when the mother was speaking. Dude, that's not okay. It wow, Anthony up. Lombardo, 20 American dollars. Thank you so much. Will you please talk about your zeb uh, about zebra sex masks? I miss going, uh, you're going on tangents about them. Not to mention the way you say it is gold. Oh, okay, zebra versus zebra. Um, this was a very early meme on Brain Blaze back when it was called Business Blaze. We had these, uh, shit, I don't even know where it came from, dude. I don't even remember the origins of this meme. But at some point, I ended up buying like a, a a zebra mask, like one of those head masks off um, Amazon or some shit. One of the nastiest things I remember is I think I was a bit under the weather. and I sneezed into it really brutally and it all sprayed back against my face. That's what I mostly remember about the... Is it around here? It will be here. I don't really throw anything away. Um, I have all this random shit from videos over the years. I can't find it. Um... Dude, bring back ETA. ETA retired to the countryside. Um, thank you for the 499 though, Daniel. Daniel Tan, always there with the donos. Love you, Daniel. Danny boy. Um, uh, ETA, yeah. No, he literally did because that, that country house I was telling you about where they were going to report me to the police for not paying my electric bill, that's where he is. He's uh, in there because our heating wasn't working at some point and so I took him out there and he's in the, he's in the bedroom and he keeps me warm at night. So that's the uh, that's the end of ETA's law journey. I suppose I'll he, I suppose I'll bring him back at some point because the heating is actually being fixed as we speak. So that's nice. There's people there fixing the heating. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll bring ETA back. I don't know what his role would be. He'd definitely have a much better voice these days with these uh, like AI Eleven Labs voices because he just used to have that classic Australian like Microsoft Sam voice. Uh, but I could give him a good one now. Maybe I'll give him Liam's voice. Liam, would that be okay with you? Can I clone your voice? Sure. Yeah, great. It's as long as I get paid for it. Oh no, 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 no! This this would be a this would be a Creative Commons cloning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we're coming up. We're past the hour point. I was going to do an hour today because I got I got some videos to record and such things. And uh, yeah, I mean, you guys, thank you for coming for the fifteen minutes of actual content and the rest of it just being some rambling shit. We love Simon Skepticism. US twenty. Thank you, GCP. Love you for the twenty. Appreciate it. 
And uh, Elizabeth Naris, four ninety nine American. When can we expect a, your video drop on on Drop Bears, dude? I can't believe I fell for this. Someone put Drop Bears in the script as like an Australian thing that can actually hurt you. And I think it was David. I feel like it was David. It was. It was yeah, one of the first Australian. ever ones I watched, and I also fell for it. I was like, well, I mean, Australia's dangerous, man. There's all sorts of crazy shit there. Is it so unbelievable that, that there would be bears that could drop on your head and, like, rip your face off? I feel like it's Australia. They've got, like, spiders the size of a face, like, that will bite you. I once got bitten by a spider on my face, but it was just a little spider, but I had a big swelling up here. I was in America. It's also dangerous in America. If it was Australia, I'd be dead, though, because Australia's dangerous. So let's wrap it up there. I am going to go and do some work. Appreciate everyone for being here. Your cousin was killed by a drop there, Mike. I'm so sorry. Thank you for being a member. Um, thank you, everybody. Uh, I was told to just waffle at the end of these things before ending the stream because otherwise there is like, it just ends at the wrong place on YouTube. When it goes out, it just cuts back a little bit. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just waffling. I'm talking about absolutely nothing. Be the sure viewer... not to miss the stream tomorrow if you're a member. And if you're Be not sure... a member, don't miss it by becoming a member. I need to get to that post flex wealth. So we're, we're working on that together. Team. It's a team effort. <laughs> Cringe. Ah, <laughs> uh, Liam. Dave, thank you so much for being here. Especially you, Dave, because you don't get paid to be here. <laughs> you just come on out, goodness of your heart. 